quiet today. straw bale. I'm just gonna throw in the bale feeder. Give him something else to chew on to. We had corn yesterday so they're not too terribly hungry today. That corn sticks with them for a few days. So just feed them two better or well, a smaller prairie bale and then I'll follow the bale in and then healthier than yesterday that corn is nonchalant yeah if that sun would shine too that would soften the ground up a little bit top layer so all the poop balls wouldn't be so frozen hard then go a little faster then get one of those large poop balls it's it's like driving over a rock practically <laughs>
have to walk that way. And one gets hit in it. Somebody asked if I hit cows with the bucket. Yeah, I do at times. But I'm going pretty slow though, and I keep my bucket higher. So it gets the cow up a little higher, and it protects the tractor then. Uh, some people remember that one time we were feeding with the ACO, and the ACO got, got hit on the side. So I don't have my bucket way up in the air. I kind of help protect the tractor. If someone gets pushed and shoved, bulls start fighting. It's Like the loader can take a little bit more of a hit versus a versus the hood or something. Come on, cow's out of the way. Yeah. Bop him with the spears a little bit. And you cows sometimes. Second bale I shredded needs needs most of it. Sprinkle a little bit of alfalfa on here though. Get that smell then on top of this hay then. More enticing than it. Front right leg there, knee looks a little swollen. Slipped and fell on something. Don't look too bad, Biss. Just gotta pay attention to her. She's the pet, so. Yep. You know, okay, Biss. She's walking a little bit better than yesterday, but. Gotta pay attention to her. She'll be easy to get home, so she looks pretty good yet. But yeah, all that alfalfa here, boy, that smells good. Yep, it's a big pile here. That'll be gone by evening. She's kind of she's she's the original pet. Well, original pet. That's why I call her call her that the pet. She kind of replaced our previous pet cow. And what I mean by that, I mean. Yeah, we have other really team cows like that, but, you know, but she's like the one cow, like, like, I remember just last spring when she had her calf, I remember, she was calving, and we went and fed some other group of cows then, and, and then I came back then, because I knew she was calving, and went down there, and I saw she had her calf, but the sack was over the calf's head, and of course, he couldn't breathe, so, 
you know, I kind of jogged up to her and took the sack off Calf's head and make sure he was breathing. She just stood there, just licked, you know, nothing. She didn't do anything. She just, just kept licking, kept on licking. So she's, you know, that's why I call her the pet. 110%, she won't do anything. She is a doll. <laughs> Not in the simplest terms. Uh, she's getting old though. She's nine years. She'll be nine years old in a couple months. She's getting up there. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, I was planning on just making a little short 360 video, but it always ends up being longer. I don't know. I guess any video in general always ends up to be longer than what I anticipate. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys like longer videos or shorter, want shorter videos instead? Or are they fine for length? I always sometimes feel when my videos get over 15 minutes, I think it gets way too long then. I guess I'd rather make shorter videos, but it never happens though. I always end up rambling or something. Or something gets on my mind. All right, cows. Go to it. I gotta go move a few bales while I'm at it. Nothing pressing today, so. Next week's gonna be busy. Hoping to haul flax out next week. We were gonna do it today, but because it snowed yesterday and didn't feel like uh, going 160 miles one way on wet roads, so not good for flax either it's start playing with any moisture it's it's not good <laughs> so.